The Deanna Kremen cold case has made headlines for many years. On March 22nd, M. Wynn attended the ceremony marking the 19th anniversary of Kremen's death. My name is Christine Kremen. I am Deanna Kremen's older sister. I was 18 when Deanna died. Um, I will never forget the day my sister was murdered. It was um, the worst day of my life, which I had no idea how long it would continue to be the worst day of my life. Um, Deanna Kremen turned 17 just three days before she was brutally murdered. 19 years later, friends and family gathered to commemorate her death and to confirm that they are still looking for her killer. 6,900 days of not knowing what happened. What I know is that love and faith are always stronger than evil and that we will bring this case to a just resolution and a successful conclusion. And that is our promise to all of you today. On March 29, 1995, Kremen was walking home from Broadway to Jake Street, but she never made it. Her body was found by grade schoolers early the next morning behind this senior apartment complex. Kremen had been strangled the night before. Well, I've often asked myself, have we done enough? I don't know what that answer is. I know I want to continue to be side by side with the Kremen's family and with their friends. I know I want to pray with all of you to pause with all of you. But the city uh, police department, we're going to do more. We are now will be offering a $50,000 reward for information. I was home in my bed and detectives were in my house and I had no idea what was going on. I thought Deanna broke her arm or something. And then my father came home. My father had to go identify the body. And I saw my dad and he was a broken man. And my mom came home from work and she lost it. And it was, it was like I lost my entire family when Deanna died. I didn't just lose Deanna. My mom and dad broke up. They got a divorce. Everything fell apart. It was terrible. And weeks went by, months went by, and all of a sudden like it started clicking on me like her, nobody's been arrested for this. Um, it just, um, it destroyed our family. It, 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 sorry, I'm trying to think. So quite recently, I've been looking at photos of Deanna because her birthday was Wednesday. This week is a tough week. And I, and I try, I really, really try not to let the grief overcome me and, and take over. But it will, it will. And it gets stronger in this time of year. Today is the last day I saw my daughter alive 19 years ago. The last thing she said was, I love you too, Mom. When I stand there and I look, this is all for the end. Some evil person is living with this secret and I don't know how they can go on for 19 years, but I think they should think to themselves, I've got to wait and with this for 19 years free. Now it's time for me to go do my time, give Deanna's family peace and closure and her friends and let us move on with our life and get this off your conscience. There are 19 balloons. They say this too shall pass. They say grief eventually fades. But those things are of little comfort when you're living through such sad days. They say this time heals all, and this much I know is true. So hang in there, everybody, and together we'll see it through. Thank you, everybody. We love you, Deanna. For Somerville Neighborhood News, I'm M. Wynn. 19 years and still unsolved. The reward amount for any information that will lead to the prosecution of the murderer is now at $70,000. $50,000 from the city has been added to the already established $20,000 reward. Anyone with information should call the Somerville Police Department at 617-625-1600. Calls will be confidential. People can also text anonymous tips to tip411 subject 617 SPD.